All right, version 3.0, uh, just in time for the Unity 6 update that just came out yesterday, I believe. Uh, I just wanted to go over some of the new things. As you can see, there are a lot of additions just in this new weapon scene alone, uh, but there's some other good stuff for the whole package as well, including this new lovely full body avatar, which does not use final IK. This actually just uses a built-in uh, Unity IK with some kind of clever code to help keep the body uh, centered under the head so you don't see through your head object, um, but you can still see it on a camera and in shadows, and it, it doesn't really show up super well when you're recording video, but if you were to look down, you can see your nice uh, whole body there. Just uh, when I'm recording, it cuts off the field of view, so it's hard to see, but in game it looks fantastic. Uh, this is all actually running in Unity 6. This is using URP, and it's running at a steady 72 frames per second, uh, so everything's running really performantly. Uh, what I spent most of my time on uh, is just grabbing stuff, just making that feel better, and just making it feel nice and smooth. You can see now, it's just, everything is just, uh, it's just much better. There's hopefully no more objects getting stuck in tables. Um, there's some new different grab types, like for the pistol, for example. Hopefully this shows up in the video, but there's the new, you know, animations here that I think look really great and they feel seamless when you're uh, using them with a full body character, but they're also been uh, adjusted for the regular models in the XR demo scene as well. So there are updates to the full body, but they also go if you're just using the regular, uh, you know, kind of bodyless system. Anyway, so it all feels really great. I kind of got rid of the uh, physics system, so now no more jiggly slides, and you can use them in vehicles. Uh, and it just all feels really good. I also updated the magazine and bullet system. Um, so it's no longer using like get component or anything like that. Uh, it's much more performant. Uh, it's just essentially, you know, a, a number system. Um, and on top of that, it's network. So all of this stuff that you see, if I'm holding a clip or animating or even dealing damage, uh, it can be networked and is networked. I think most everything here uh, is currently in the mirror networking uh, integration that is uh, free and open source as part of uh, sort of like a community. Uh, if you would like to contribute to it or, you know, uh, point out all the bugs or whatever, please do, and then we'll make it better. Um, but it's really fun to see all of this stuff work in multiplayer as well. Uh, the full body, um, all the grabbing systems working really well. Um, so yeah, so really just these kind of basic interactions of being able to grab things. I spent a lot of time on that. It was really cool stuff here too, but just getting things really smoothly uh, working here uh, was really the main priority and getting that updated for Unity because they changed how some things were uh, working with the physics system and uh, you know interpolation and things like that. So this is just, uh, it's just working really well. So with the new bullet system, you can, let's see, where's that? Need a good clip. So this this magazine here, you can see it has uh, open model, so I can actually see the bullets being inserted. This is an optional feature, uh, but it's very performant because it just enables or disables the mesh render as the you know the bullet count is adjusted. Uh, and this works in multiplayer, which is really cool. So you can take uh, you know your your gun. I've got let's see, we've got maybe about five rounds in here. Um, I just ejected a shell, let's see. So I don't have any more ammo because I fired uh, rounds and there's another one here still in the chamber. And like I said, that this was all networked. So if you were to fire off a few shots and then take the clip out and pass it to someone, it would have the correct number of shells as, as well as uh, rounds, as well as the graphics update. If you don't want to use all the extra graphics, uh, like with this, which is actually just low poly, so it's pretty uh, performant, you can just put a couple at the top here and leave the rest empty, and it'll just update it, 
you know, as you shoot, they come checks through the child indexes until it can uh, enable or disable again. So you probably saw this, that snap points have been updated. So you can have a preview system, depending on like what you're grabbing. So you can put on different kind of scopes and lasers. There's some nice, you know, uh, different grab poses included as well. Uh, and there's an auto snap feature. So as long as you get close and touch the snap point, it will automatically attach it. Uh, it just makes things really quick to get on and off. Uh, just feels really good. Like between the new poses, everything just feels seamless. Uh, in addition, there is a recoil setup, and if you were to fire without a silencer, the muzzle point uh, and the muzzle flash use different positions. And that is networked as well, I believe. Um, let's see. Oh, and there's a new cool holographic shader here so hopefully you can see it in the video but there's if, I, if as I look through here you can see a this is a stereoscopic shader that will draw a crosshair wherever your eye is looking and it looks it renders differently depending on the left eye or the right eye so it works in VR it works in URP or built in this is URP um, and it's a yeah it's a fun addition and it's accurate so it's, it's actually quite useful um, so I recommend checking that out. There's the crosshair version that I have here. And then, let's see. So, do two sites if you're, if you're super cool. All right, anyway, so moving on from that. So this is all uh, really stable, works great in multiplayer, can use it in vehicles, which is fun. Um, we've also got a new revolver and shotgun they actually use the same components to use this sort of bullet inserts now this does use the older bullet system that uh, been played before and the reason for that is because you can actually insert bullets um, and fire them and then when you fire the bullet it actually expends the bullet out of the cartridge so i'll show you here so you can see this is the bullet that was fired and we can still fire these bullets. And that snap to close is uh, handled by angular velocity, and uh, just like the weapon spins. So you can there's a new you can do this with any object really, but it's just a component. But it will take if I want to spin backwards, I just kind of shake the controllers back and hit the spin button, or you could do it automatically. It's it's fun. Anyway, so after you shoot, if there's a, if you put an ejected shell in there, it's not going to fire. But this um, mechanic of being able to inject the shells feels really good. I really recommend trying it. Um, it just feels pretty natural, and I could see it being really fun for a survival game or, you know, a zombie game or something like that. So the shotgun is very similar, and with this one I have... A couple of settings a little bit differently. You still rotate back to snap it and close to get that uh, closed if you want to use the sort of more physical option. Otherwise, you can just push a button. And I have it set to where uh, it will automatically eject any spent shells when you open. Um, I'll show you that again. I'll shoot. Two. And any that are there that you've shot will eject. And you can also just manually eject them as well. So that's a fun uh, and useful interaction that I think you'll enjoy. Uh, I upgraded the shotgun mod a little bit, so the one's a little more performant than the blocky one I had before. Uh, this one is working in multiplayer as well, which is pretty fun. You can see the uh, shells chamber and eject them out. Uh, See, for the rifle, we now have a couple of different ways to eject. So we can just use the button, or, or we can pull it out. And this has a nice, real nice uh, animation, or I'm sorry, hand pose for pulling the clip. And it just feels really nice and seamless. Like, you just... It feels really good. And it looks great in multiplayer as well as that uh, these hand poses are synced. Uh, so in addition to this, 
you can do the two-handed grab or you could attach a vertical grip to it. And when the snap zone has a vertical grip, then it can switch to different grab types. And that's kind of interesting because you can also set different values for uh, recoil. So let's say maybe you wanted to uh, have higher recoil when you're just one handing it like this, a little bit of recoil. And then I have it set now for two hand where recoil is, there's no recoil when you are two handing it. So it could be make for different kind of interesting scenarios. Oh, and I do have one more way of reloading is you can actually physically hit the magazine out and that will get rid of it. It's not very realistic, but it's pretty fun. So if you, uh, just it's up to you if, you if you think that makes sense. And this is the holoscope. This is probably my favorite one. Very accurate and fun to use. Okay, so now we've got a regular scope like you'd see. I'm calling it a marksman scope. Um, this one does use a render texture. We'll put a silencer on because it's pretty loud. Uh, so with this scope, uh, it just uses a camera and a render texture. So you want to keep the kind of resolution fairly low, but it works well. It is not stereoscopic, but it doesn't uh, need to be, I think. I think it works pretty well for what you're trying to do with it, which is just shoot far away. And it does have a bit of a recoil in there as well. Uh, so, yeah, and you can actually put these on, you know, it's up to you where you want them to go on, uh, whether you want to allow it or not. But there, you can put mix and match different kinds of silencers. And I really like this square silencer, for example. But, but yeah, it all feels great and it works with the XR demo scene. Uh, I think you'll, really enjoy it. Um, if you find any issues or if you have something that you want to see, uh, let me know either in the comments or on Discord and we'll see what we can do. We've got some other fun updates. So there are, you can drive vehicles now. You can get inside and out of a truck and actually drive it around. You can actually drive the truck from the back of it because it's marked as a moving platform. So you can stand in the bed and drive that way or you know, it could be fun in multiplayer if somebody's driving inside and then maybe somebody's in the back because it is marked as a moving platform. Uh, so that's a fun addition. There's also lots of just quality of life stuff. There's a new VR emulator um, setup that allows you to see a preview of where you're going to grab. It's a very simple addition, but it just makes things much easier. There's also settings for if you want to automatically lock the screen and things like that. There are also grab points so that you can preview uh, full body poses. Uh, like if I wanted to preview holding this clip that we're looking at right here into the actual grab point, um, that used to be difficult in any software because uh, normally you just have a hand rig. But in this case, we have an entire body, but it's set up to where you can have two different full body previews now, and that makes setup really uh, quick and easy. You can also mirror right hand poses so this is just one single pose for the pistol uh, that uses a blend for the fingers squeeze the fingers and the trigger animates just very it's pretty simple to sim set up and if you want to mirror the left hand pose you just click a couple boxes and that saves you from having to actually go through create the right and then duplicate it and change you know that kind of thing um, in addition if you do end up changing the grab point previews, which is now you can change them on the grab points. It'll give you suggestions like if you've previously used this grab point, then it'll kind of wreck like, oh, hey, did you want to use this? That way you don't have to hunt down. Um, you know, if you're just making these changes a lot, it can save you a lot of time. Um, so there's also the avatar example where just some guys running around in a sort of silly scene, but it shows you how you can use the avatar with all kinds of different people. There's also the mirror integration that's out um, that you can check out. And yeah, I hope you're having fun with Unity 6 and this new version of VRIV. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments and yeah, and be on the Discord. So talk to you later.